Alrighty, so I got myself a little idea here, and my proof of concept was to take this guy, slide it through, and attach for the clamp, uh, and that was okay, but it slipped off. What I think I'm going to try to do, at the risk of damaging my rototom here, but I got a few of them, <laughs> is uh, I'm actually going to screw this in so i'm going to drill some holes here and here and then screw this in and that'll be my little proof of concept and if it works out then i will make an actual one of these with an actual releasable strainer but we're going to see how this goes so in the summer this is normally fully my workshop but since it's winter and this bimmer ain't going anywhere we're uh we're in a very messy tight space but we're going to see how this goes what we're first going to do is just get this guy lined up the way I want it. I mean, I tend to have the logo facing up, so I actually want to put this on the logo side. Now, yeah, about like that. So I'm gonna take a marker and mark roughly where those two screw holes are. Okay, it's too hard to do with one hand, but I have now mark my rough screw holes and before I get too carried away with myself I'm going to try to find two screws that already fit through these I don't feel like boring these out I don't, I don't like to leave them the size that they are but if not I will so I'm going to go over here to my random screws got all the organized screws oh yeah but we're now looking for random screws Little random screws. Ooh. Okay. Look at that. They're brassy too. I don't think these guys are gonna fit, but it might be worth it. Because it'll they'll look cool with the pure sounds, but we're gonna see. Do they make it? I think they might just screw through. All right, we're gonna give that a shot, but I need two hands, so. So indeed. So we'll do some uh, old fashioned, not approved for maintaining <laughs> your screw thread, boring to get these holes a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and find my marks. Okay, I'm gonna find a drill bit that is just a tiny bit smaller than these threads. Let's see here. Yeah, looks like one eighth. There's my huckleberry. Yep, but you know what? Rather than to find out, I'm gonna test hole in a piece of metal and just make sure that this threads in and then we'll, we'll go ahead and tap the drum. One quick thing about drilling holes in metal, for those of you who have not done it, you do want to take a center punch, and I cannot do this with, two hand, with one hand and I don't have my tripod in here, but you're going to take a center punch and start your holes. So I'm just going to put the camera down and do that. Okay, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but now each one of these holes has a little dent in it for the drill bit to rest in. I'm gonna go ahead and slowly drill through this. I'm gonna use a little bit of lubricant to keep my blade from breaking. In this case, uh, I think that's some three in one right here. Nothing special, but just enough. Uh, I'm gonna drill these and get that drilled up. Holes are all punched up. Get this guy on there should be pretty easy. Back in a second. So there we have it, my nice Pure sound snared roto snom. <laughs> We're gonna take this back in to the uh, lab and see what I have wrought.
that's great. product you can see my super funky and ridiculous way from <laughs> mounting this phototom in such a tight space uh really pride myself on that one i gotta do something about that but anyway boom there it is it occurs to me i could put a lever to bend this back uh, but for right now it's semi-permanent so i'll be i guess switching back and forth with my other eight inch phototom and i don't want to snom until i can uh replace this with a real strainer, sorry, replace this with a real strainer, but I'm pretty happy with it.